Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3157 Endangered Animals by Face McNulty. People and animals share the same earth. They have shared it for a long, long time. Once there was enough of everything. Enough food and water. Enough forest. And jungle. And grassy plain for all the animals and all the people to share. <clears throat> but the number of people is growing. More people need more space. Our cities and roads, our fields and factories. And our houses are spreading all over the earth. For some kinds of animals, there is very little space left. Some kinds of animals may disappear. We call them endangered species. Macaws and pandas, gorillas, grizzly bears, elephants and tigers, the whale, a large copper blue, blue copper butterflies. These are just a few of the species that are in danger. All these animals need a homeland that suits them where they can be safe to live their lives and raise their young. If we take away too much of their land, the day will come when there are no more of these species alive. We call that extinction. The quagga, a horse that lived in Africa, is extinct. The dodo, a big bird that couldn't fly, is also extinct. In the past, few people cared when a species became extinct. Now many people care. Endangered animals need our help. Endangered ne animals need laws to protect them from hunters and other dangers and to protect the forests and jungles and other wild places. To save a homeland for animals, people must give up things we want for ourselves. When enough people want to do that, Wild animals will no longer be in danger. When we save a homeland for animals, we also save something wonderful for ourselves. The beautiful natural world. The end.